welcome to another video. Today's video has been requested and today we're going to be looking at how to set up course play for transporting bales from the field back to the sale point. Once again we're on field, uh, once again we're on Sosnovka and we're still right in front of field number 23 that has just been harvested and baled and the bales are ready for transport. We've got the JCB fast track set up here and ready for transporting the bales and as you can see we have a couple of other course play courses running uh, this is something that I wanted to show as well uh, in this video that it is possible to have more than one course play course running at the same time so on the field that we're looking on right now uh, that's field number 25 we have a Massey Ferguson set up for harvesting sugar beet However, that seems to be stuck in a tree right now, so we're probably going to have to fix that at some point. We're going to get back to that. On the field next to that one, we have over there in the distance, we have a New Holland cultivating that field. And now we're going to set up a field or a course for this uh, field over here. So let's jump into the uh, JCB fast track here and let's start up the engine. So on this field right here, field number 23, we already have a course set up for harvesting and we're going to reuse that course um, for picking up the bales. We also reuse the course for actually baling the bales. So we're going to use the same course for these uh, for harvesting and for baling and for picking up the bales. So we already have a field course here. So what we want to set up right now is a course heading from the field back to the cell point. And I think we're going to start off that course from around here somewhere so I'm gonna go into the course play by opening the right by clicking the right mouse button and we want to be in the field work mode over here so let's start the course recording from here and have three waypoints in a relatively straight line that's two and there we go that was three and now we can head back to the cell point so because I am recording a course and I'm driving on the road here this is a uh, country lane um, I am sticking to the side of the road I'm doing that to be able to have more than one course play course running at this road here at the same time and I'm sticking to the right side of the road seeing as I am driving on a map that has AI traffic um, in a European style so it's going to be driving on the right side of the road as you can see here that car is driving on the right side of the road if you were on a UK style map, you might want to be changing so you would be driving on the left side of the road so you are following the AI traffic. Alright, so back to this course here. We got the cell point coming up right here to the left of us. So let's drive into that. So we're going to make a turn here. And we're going to reverse back to the cell point. So I'm just going to position the tractor up here and I think this is a good spot. So from here, we want to reverse back to the cell point. So I'm going to click this button over here, which is the start reverse driving. And now Courseplay knows that it needs to record us driving reverse. So we're just going to back the trailer into the cell point and we're going to set, there we go. We're going to stop here. Now notice how the trailer is right now inside the shed. However, we can see that the last waypoint is right here. So that means that when it actually is driving the course, it will detect this as the last point where it needs to stop. So the end of the trailer will stop around here. So this is where I want the course to stop. So I'm going to set a wait point here. Now notice how it sets a wait point um, right here. So this is where the trailer will stop and unload. And we're done with the reverse, so we can go forward again. So let's drive forward a little bit like that and let's head back to the field now now notice how we are gonna get stuck in traffic for this one um, a good idea and I didn't do it for this one I probably should have but a good idea is to um, turn off traffic once you're recording these courses otherwise you will risk getting stuck in traffic it's not a big of a deal right here because this is um, a relatively short course on the public road so I'm not really that bothered about it. Um, once we get back to the country lane, we can speed up and drive like a Formula One car. 
let's just head back to the start point or the stop point for this course here. And I think we're going to set the stop point around here. I think that's good. All right. So now we have the course going from the field back to the cell point. So let's save that course. We're going to save it as field 23 bales to sale. Yeah. No, uh, bales to sell. Right. And return to save. And now if we go into the manage courses, we can see that the course is right down here. So we're going to pick up that course and we're going to put it into the field 23 container. So now it's inside the field 23 container. Right here, bales to sell. So when we're going to do this, we're going to append uh, the bales to sell course at the end of the field course. So if we drive in here and we're gonna say that we wanna use the harvest seven meters, which is the one that we use to actually harvest this field and make the bales. We're gonna reuse that course like that. And we're gonna append uh, bales to sell at the end of that course. I could choose to put it in here, like load the course or merge it into an already loaded course. That would work as well. Best practice, however, is to use the append to end. Um, so, the, the difference between them, I'm not completely sure about. I've just had better results when I append it to the end of the course, and um, it seems to be working. The other course will work as well. I have just personally have better experiences with appending at the end of the course. Anyway back to this one here so we need to set up the field course here so the field course is already set up so if we click this button here you can see that we already have the field course set up and you can also see that once it's done it's going to continue up here blah 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 it's going to go back to the cell point reverse into the cell point back to the field again and continue where it left off that's all very nice so we want to we want this course to return to the first point so that's the field course we're talking about now so once this trailer is full, it's going to return up to this point here where we, it will pick up the uh, transport course. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, another thing that we're going to be talking about or we're going to have to set up is an offset. Course play normally detects these offsets by, the, by itself, so it might already be set up. But as you can see on this current trailer here, we have the pickup point to the right of the trailer, which means that we need to we need to be to the left of where we want to drive. So if we go into the driving settings, we can see that the tool offset horizontal has already been set to 2.4 meters to the left, which makes perfectly good sense because 2.4 meters to the right is probably where we have the pickup point. So if we um. If we come down like that, I think we can see it here. Uh, it's a little bit difficult, but we can see that the red line is indicating where the pickup point now is. So 2.4 meters to the left seems to be right. Um, and as far as I remember, when I did a lot of testing on this, it seems to be the perfect point for it as well. All right, let's just um, drive the course from the closest waypoint. And let's see how this goes. So it's gonna, the offset seems to be fine, and it's going to pick up the bales. Ah, oh, it's absolutely perfect. Now, I didn't set up that offset. Coursplay uh, calculated that by itself. So that's really neat, actually, that it figured out that the pickup point is, is to the right of the tractor. So let's just follow this tractor along and see how this goes. And once we have ensured that the course is running perfectly, we're going to go back and set the Mesa Ferguson up so we can have that unstuck again. It's a little bit annoying that it's stuck on the tree. Oh, that reminds me. When you set up these courses, uh, you can set them up to... Um, let's see, it's this one there. Turn on field. And this current course is activated, and I think I'm going to stick to that because the trailer needs um, a rather large or rather long 
uh, turning circle. So I think I'm going to stick to activate the turn on field, which means that now it's going to reverse back and it's going to make the turn on the inside of the field here. It takes a long time, this turning maneuver, but it will ensure that you, um, that you don't get stuck in trees on the outside of the field. I have, and I can guarantee it, I have set that up on the Massa Ferguson over there. For some reason it's choosing to ignore it, but it's one of the beauties about course play that you constantly have to keep an eye out on what is going on. The um, New Holland uh, on the far end up here seems to be doing just fine. Um, it's driving in its course, it's having a time of its life, it's doing great. But the Massa Ferguson seems to be, yeah, it seems to be struggling a bit. Anyway, back to the JCB, which is what the video is about. Uh, we need three more bales, two more bales, and we are done with the first load. So let's just follow it along and see how it goes. Alright, here we go. We've got the beacon on, which indicates that the trailer is full, and it's now going to the transport course. So I'm curious to see how it navigates um, in between the bales. I'm hoping that it will not push the bales too much. Um, I do have a sneaky suspicion that it might it might end up bad. Let's let's just see how it goes. It looks like it's going to collide. No, it's not. Oh, that was lucky. Although, did it... Did it actively avoid that bail? Or was that my mind playing a trick on me? It looked like it acti actively avoided the bail. If that's the case, if it can actually detect the bail and avoid it... Oh my god. Then that's completely new. I was not aware of that. I don't think that's the case, however, let's just... Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Anyway, it's heading back to the cell point. And currently it seems to be going just fine. And it's driving on to the road with AI traffic. Um, it looks like we're lucky. We're not going to get stuck in any traffic here. That's nice. It's one of the things that you always do have to take into consideration. It, it is AI traffic and the AI traffic is nothing but a spline um, that the cars are following. So the cars are not in any way, any form or any way intelligent. They are just following a pre-recorded course. All right, so he's going to reverse back to the cell point here. So that should be money in the bank for us. Not that we need it, however, but it's always nice with a little extra income. It's gonna unload here, or un it's gonna tip uh, the trailer back to the unload point. So if we have set this up correct, we are gonna sell all the bales here. There we go, money in the bank. Okay, let's get back to the field and let's see, we're lucky once again, no traffic. However, he is going to follow the course that we recorded, so he's going to think that there is a, a car ahead of him, or at least he's going to slow down to the speed that we recorded. It's fine, doesn't really matter. It's, uh, it's a short journey on, on the public road here, so let's follow him back and see how it goes once he comes up to the uh, field course again and if he can pick that up.
so this is the moment. Is he gonna pick up the field course? Yes, he is. And are we so lucky now? It looks like we're gonna collide with. No. Oh, we're gonna collide with that one then. No. What? Is he actually? It might be me, but I am seriously wondering if he's actively avoiding uh, the bales. If that is the case, then that's completely new. I have not seen this before. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by it, as you can probably tell. Um, if that's the case, then wow. Well done, cosplay developers. Holy shit. Right. Uh, anyway, he's gonna he's gonna continue where he left off. Uh, let's just let's just make sure that he picks up the first bail, and once he does that, we're gonna head over to the Master Ferguson and have that unstuck again. It really looked like he was actively avoiding the bales. Holy crap! Holy crap! That's amazing if that's the case. Anyway. There we go, first bail picked up. Let's head on over to the Master Ferguson. Now we can click on this icon over here and that will take us directly to the Master Ferguson. So let's do that. And he's well stuck on this tree up here. All right. I'm just going to show you guys that I have actually set up the turn on field. It is activated, so for some reason he's just choosing to ignore it. All right, dude, you are pretty much stuck on a tree here. Let's get you sorted here a little bit and I think he want to drive here all right go ahead my friend drive along there we go now let's follow the uh, Master Ferguson here a little bit because this course is quite interesting as well I had an idea about um, sugar beet and potatoes uh, and actually this was one of the bark points that I did put into the cosplay github uh, a while ago and it was fixed pretty fast actually so my my idea was that once you're starting out you're not going to be able to afford the big uh sugar beet harvester or the big potato harvester um you'll have to do with this smaller equipment here and this equipment here the harvester for the sugar beet and the potato uh the potato harvester their capacity is quite small the the tank on these machinery here is quite small so I was trying to come up with an idea where I set up a course for these ones um, where I didn't need to have a tractor chasing them down on the field all the time because they were getting full so fast that if if this was the real world you would have the tractor driving in crops continuously the chasing tractor that is so I wanted to set up a course where the tractor harvesting this tractor here actually has a unload course that's combined with the uh, harvesting course so that's what I've done here so you can see that we're now gonna drive up to a pile of sugar beets that's on the ground here and up here I have a case and a JCB wheel loader stood and I want those two to actually I'm gonna set up a course for those eventually so they can um, take the sugar beet from here and drive them back to the farmer where I want to store them or perhaps just sell them I don't know yet so I wanted to set up a course like this where I'm just dumping the sugar beet onto the ground and, and see how that works. So this is a bit of a test course but I figured this was a good way of showing that it is possible to have more than one cosplay course running at the same time. It doesn't seem to put a strain on my computer to have more than one cosplay course running. I will say however, the more cosplay courses you have um, the longer time the map will take to load initially so that's something that you can possibly take into consideration if you have a computer that's already uh, struggling a little bit to, to load the map take that into consideration that the more cosplay courses you save the longer time it will take for the map to load uh, initially when you load it up but other than that, it doesn't really seem to affect my computer in any way, so so it should be it should be fine with more than one cosplay course. 
Okay, the JCB is heading back to the cell point. The Massa Ferguson is heading back to where it left off uh, harvesting. The New Holland over here is done. It's done a, a bad job, but nonetheless, it's done. So let's just stop this driver. And let's head back to the JCB over here and follow him along again. So this, after all, is what the video is about. So to set up this course um, is pretty much as simple as this. There is a good chance that we will have to pick up some of the bales manually once this is done. Um, when I bailed the bales, uh, I did have the turn on field activated as well. And that meant that the baler was reversing back into some of the bales and pushing them outside of the lane. So there will be some of the bales that is not, um, that's not lying straight in the lane. Uh, so, so this, this trailer can actually pick them up. So we will have to pick up some of the bales manually once this is done but it's not going to be a lot of them so this is a good way of setting it up if you have anything else that you want to do you can have this set up and it will pretty much take care of itself um, this tractor will detect traffic once it's in the traffic and will adjust its speed accordingly um, so you don't really need to worry too much about it Keep an eye on it, as you can see, uh, or as you saw with the Massive Ferguson. You do need to take, um, you, you do need to take over a couple of times to get them unstuck or something like that. However, if you if you take your time, set up the course, um, correct, and, and really think about what you're doing, you will find that most of the time it will work out just fine. So you, I currently have these two tractors running on their own. I'm not interfering with them. I do need to take care of the Mesa Ferguson every now and again, but it is not a big deal. It really isn't. It. The Mesa Ferguson is harvesting that fuel all on its own. I'm not. I'm not interfering unless it gets stuck. And it it is as simple as just driving it away from the tree and click uh, drive once you've set uh, a course play up to start at the next waypoint. All right, so he's going to go back to the field course. All right, guys, it seems to be working out just fine. So I think I'm going to stop the video here. And I'm just going to say straight away, if you have any questions about this setup, uh, feel free to post them down below in the comment section. If you feel like you want me to make a video about something that you're not unsure about, just let me know and I'll, I'll have a look, um, I'll have a look about it, I'll have a look on it, into it, what do you say? Oh my god, why, I, I can't speak today, I don't know what's going on, my, my, I don't know, my brain is not working. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, feel free to post any comments or any questions, or if you want me to make a video about something, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye for now.